Good afternoon, people. Um, I know I said in the last video that my next video was going to be um, putting the oil pan on, but I've got another project I wanted to finish as well. This here is one of a pair of um, small deck boxes that I've made um, in my workshop at, at, um, at my business to um, alleviate the problem I have with the um, water flooding the bilge. As I said in my last video, this roof is a later addition to the boat and the way they've put it on, it just sort of channels, it's, um, it's 4 by 5 metres the top of the boat, so it's like 20, 20 square metres. It just funnels the water straight down into the bilge um, and it's fresh water, so it's not good for the boat, obviously. I've tried a few different things um, to um, to cover it and to deflect the water, but and I couldn't really get it get the right system in place. And part of it is because I didn't have the skills. Now I like to think that I've developed my skills a little bit over the last four years. So I think I'm at the stage now where I can um, solve this problem and still keep the back of the boat open, which is the only open area in the boat. So I don't really want to cover it. So I've built two of these, and it's a uh, simple plywood box um, that I made from all bits of floor, and it's got it's open on one end, and I'll show you why in a second. So this kind of I'll show you where it goes in the back of the board. There's one for either side, and it's um, it's just a little thing just to do, catch the water off the roof and just flick it off, deflect it. And uh, it's so difficult in this small space, but I've got this bit here, which fits in the gap in the front. So if I can get it in, there we go. So it fits like this, and it goes up the side of the boat, so it gives it a little bit of a lip. It'll all make sense. Don't you worry. But I need to make another one of these. I've only got one at the moment. So what I'm doing today is um, fiberglassing them. I've been to and fro whether or not I should fiber uh, just paint them with um, like a poly uh, polyurethane paint to waterproof them. But um, I thought I might as well fiberglass them. I've got the fiberglass to do, and I need to practice because I need to fiberglass the front of the boat as well. So this will be a good opportunity to uh, practice. So uh, all I'm going to do today is mix the epoxy with some um, pigments that I've got and um, get a few layers of uh, glass on this box and um, we'll go from there. Oh, I'm just going over one last time before this stuff goes off. 
think I panicked a bit at the beginning because I hate working with fiberglass. And um, I just I put too much um, epoxy on, and I did it too fast. And I had it, even though I, I mixed the epoxy to um, it, the ratio that it would take about half an hour to go off. I still panicked a bit and sort of went a bit mad at the beginning, but I think I managed to rescue it at the end. Um, so obviously this is just the first coat on one side. I've got to do um, the rest of this one. I've got a hole of the box, so I'm going to have to up my game a bit. I hate working with epoxy. I don't know how you fiberglass boat builders do it, but I hate this stuff. Anyway, first coat is on, and let that dry, or set, or go off, whatever the hell you call it. It just gets everywhere, even with gloves. Right. One more thing. I've been down here fiberglassing today, but whilst I'm here, I'm going to embed this um, rope sail in here, and that means when I come back down, I'll be like ready to go putting the oil pan back on. I haven't got time to do it today you see so now there are some people that'll tell you to soak this in um, oil engine oil for like 24 hours but I'm not one of those people because I can't be bothered to do that so I'm just gonna spray a load of like WD-40 on it hammer it in let it settle and then I'll trim it down, trim the edges off next time I come down. And then, now that I've done that and I've worked out where that seal goes, I can get this freaking thing on the engine. And finally, so, I'll just oil her up a little bit, like a gentleman. And I'll stick this in here. And then I'll just get the persuader and give it a few taps, and it in place. What I'll do is I'll just put a load of this stuff on it, <coughs> and then I'll let it sit like that for a couple of days until I come back. And then the engine will be ready to go. So, future Paul, today we have, um, we're feeling quite good health wise, and we've done some fiberglassing on the deck boxes. Um, it, we weren't very good at it, but I think it'll be alright. We've got one layer down come and do the rest another time. So we've done that today and we've um, put a rope sail on the uh, rear of the engine and figured out where that rubber sail goes. So next time we come down, definitely, definitely be able to do the engine, finally.